Today we're going to be making a tassity shirt, so you're going to need some fabric scissors or regular ones if you don't have fabric ones. If you want to be neat about things then an unpicker would be handy or some nail scissors. And a nice big old shirt that you don't mind ruining and turning into something better. I have already cut the sleeves off my shirt so if you haven't you'll want to get those off. And we're going to use the collar of this shirt as the collar of the new shirt. So we're going to cut that off and try and be kind of, kind of neat about it. You can always tidy it up a bit once it's off. I did end up actually changing this after I filmed the video and I ended up plaiting together some of the blue and white strands and using that as the collar instead, which I think looks nicer. But you know, whichever way you want to do it. Once your collar's off, we're gonna cut off the bottom of the shirt as well, where the there's like the fold and the hemming. We don't want that bit because it's, you know, it's thicker and it's a different consistency to the rest of the shirt. Then I'm cutting along the seams along the edge of the shirt so that I have two t-shirt type shaped pieces. It's just much easier to work with if you cut those in half. If you're worried that your tassels aren't going to be long enough, then you could always just cut one seam so that you end up with longer strips of fabric. Then cut off the top part where the collar dips in. We don't need that bit either. We want all of our strips to be roughly the same length. So obviously the collar is going to get in the way. Or the, you know, cut off collar bit. Then I'm just cutting all of the stripes on the remaining material. If you don't have a stripey shirt, these are about an inch wide each. You could go bigger or smaller, whatever you want, but mine are about an inch. If you want to get the two-tone look and you don't have a stripey shirt, you could always use two shirts of different colors. Once all of your strips are cut, we're going to stretch them. And this is going to make them kind of roll up and look a bit more like string. So just grab the two ends and give them a really good pull and make sure you kind of pull those end bits as well so that you don't end up with a unrolled, unstretched tip on the ends of those stripes. So you should now have your pile of strings and a collar. So I'm laying the collar out in a collarish type shape, taking my first string and folding it in half. So you should have a U shape at the top where it's folded and we're going to slip that underneath the front part of the collar. Then we're going to take the two ends of the string and we're going to thread them through that U shape going over the top of the collar. So the U goes underneath and then we're bringing those ends over the top and down through the U and pulling it tight. And we're just going to keep doing that same thing for all of the threads. On this first run of just attaching all the strings, don't pull it too tight because you might want to move them about on the collar and that's more difficult if you've pulled them really tight. Because I've got two colors, I'm putting all of the blue ones in the center and then I'm dividing the white ones in half and putting half on either side. But you can do, you know, whatever you like. You could do it alternating, you could do it just one color, you could do it lots of colors, whatever you fancy. Once you've got all the strings on, that's when you can adjust things and, you know, move things around a little bit and then pull them all nice and tight and they should stay in place unless you intentionally like pull them to move them around a bit. I like to have the collar quite tight and high. So the collar I have is too big. That's part of why I changed over to the plait. So I'm just cutting it in the center at the back and then you can just tie it in a bow when you wear it like a halter top. So it's nice and adjustable. If all of your strings are the same length, you should find you have like a very gentle V shape. So in the center, the strings will be longer and on the outside, they'll be shorter. And I like that kind of not perfect gradient look. But if you want to neaten things up or change the length or change the shape that they fall, then you could trim those ends into whichever shape you like. But I'm going to leave mine how it is because I kind of like the messy look. And that's it, you are done. A word of warning about this top, because it's strings, they are not gonna cover everything that you would expect a top to cover. The strings will fall to the sides of things. So, you know, you might wanna wear a sports bra or something underneath or, you know, something to, to cover the goods. So I hope this is helpful and that you all like your new tassel tops. 
Bye, guys.